Hello and welcome to the Virtual Transfer College Fair for All Virginia Students, sponsored by the Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Counselors and Stride Stamp. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening so be sure to check out the full schedule at strivescan.com slash Virginia. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website. Today we are in session C1. And now I would like to turn it over to our first presenter, presenter from James Madison University. Okay, thank you. Um, glad to have so many people here uh, today for this event. I uh, just wanted to go over a little bit of information about James Madison University and in the transfer process. This is uh, just some images across campus there to show you uh, just some of what our campus looks like if you haven't had a chance to visit. Um, we are located in the western side of northwestern side of the state of Virginia, uh, right in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Uh, and we have a few different uh, things to share just in terms of um, numbers and things like that. We have about 20,000 students that attend JMU. Uh, we have um, about 76% uh, of those are in-state. Our transfer population is probably a little closer to 85% um, in terms of our applicants that come in there from Virginia. Uh, we are a public four-year institution. Um, and a couple of different accolades that are, are that I'm proud of is that uh, the Wall Street Journal did a, a survey of all students in colleges, and we were the most recommended uh, public university from our students. So students love to be at JMU. Um, we also have the highest graduation rate in the U.S. for large master's levels public universities. So we're we're doing some great things here at JMU. Uh, we have three different times that students can apply to enter as a transfer student. We have spring, summer, and fall uh, intake for new transfer students, and we have different deadlines for those. Uh, one thing to note, we normally have an October 1 deadline for spring semester, uh, but we just back that up for two weeks just to give people a little bit more time during this uh, crazy pandemic. So uh, everybody has a few more weeks to get those applications in. Now, in terms of how to apply, uh, we will, uh, we, all that we require is the online application. Uh, we need your official high school transcript that would show that you have graduated from high school um, or a GED certificate. And then we need official college transcripts from any college that you attended, even dual enrollment classes possibly. Um, once you do submit your application, uh, we give you an email to set up a My Madison account. Um, that is something that you'll log in to be able to see when your transcripts have arrived. Uh, but we'll also be posting our decision in that My Madison portal, and uh, you'll have your credit evaluation will be put there as well as your financial aid package. Now, in terms of what we like to see from competitive applicants, uh, typically we'll want to see at least a full year of courses uh, completed after high school. Um, and we look to see that students have taken them in four different areas that would likely meet our general education requirements. So we'd like to see courses completed in language, which would include an English or a foreign language or some type of speech communications class. Uh, a math class that has to be something past the Algebra II level. Uh, some lab science course and uh, social sciences, which covers a whole bunch of areas. Um, if you are missing one or more of those different subject areas, I usually recommend to uh, get that in your next semester schedule so that we can see your progress um, in those classes. We typically recommend that you have a 3.0 GPA or higher uh, to transfer into JMU. And if you have any courses below a C, uh, we typically recommend that you take, retake those uh, for a higher grade uh, before applying. Now we do have, uh, for all of you that are going to a Virginia community college, um, we do have guaranteed admission agreements set up with all of the uh, community colleges across Virginia, as well as Richard Bland. 
Um, typically, the requirements are to work on an approved uh, transfer degree, and those can be a little different based on your institution where you're attending. Uh, typically have a 3.0 um, or higher at the time that you're applying, have completed a course in each of those areas that are listed, and don't have any grades lower than a C. Um, but if you, uh, if you want to participate in that, and this is a way to just know that your admission would be guaranteed to JMU, uh, we have a letter of intent that's on our website. Uh, you can fill out that top portion and then meet with one of your um, advisors at your uh, community college uh, and just get that sent in to JMU. We'll hold on to that until you apply. Uh, if you complete an associate's degree at the Virginia Community College system, um, it, that's one of the transferred one, uh, approved ones, uh, you would have your general education courses waived. Now, one thing we're very excited about, uh, we just went live with this in February, uh, but you'll see the bottom link that's there um, with our credit evaluation that's done by the registrar, you can get an idea ahead of time uh, by just going to that transferology website. If you go to our registrar's page, they'll link you up to that. Um, and you can plug in all of your courses, whether you're at a four-year school or a community college, and know how your courses are gonna transfer into JMU. So that's a great resource for you to take advantage of. If you're at the Virginia Community College system, the link above that uh, will show you uh, courses and how they transfer into particular majors at JMU. Um, if you, we break down our regions uh, with how we review applications based on where your college is located. So uh, feel free to uh, go to our website and find out who the best person is. Um, and I definitely encourage you to sign up for our mailing list. Uh, that way we can communicate with you about all the things that we have going on at JMU. Uh, for example, we have a couple of transfer specific sessions that we're doing off of our website um, in the upcoming weeks. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, send me those questions through the Q&A. Thanks so much. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from East Tennessee State University. Hey everyone, and welcome to East Tennessee State University. My name is Lily and I'm the admissions counselor for Virginia students. What we're gonna talk about today is a brief overview of our academics, how to become a Buccaneer, scholarships for transfer students, and ways you can get involved on campus. So why should you choose ETSU? Located in Johnson City, Tennessee, ETSU is a public regional university that houses approximately 14,000 students. At this size, you can expect access to the resources and opportunities that larger universities have, while also having the benefit of building strong connections with other students and faculty. You will see that with the 23 average classroom size and a 15 to 1 student to faculty ratio, you will become more involved on campus and within your academics. We have 10 different colleges with 150 different academic programs that you can choose from. Our programs range from our highly accredited business program, which ranks in the top 5% of all business schools in the world, to our health science programs, which we have more comprehensive health science programs than almost any other school in the US. We also have a nationally ranked teacher education program, and we offer the top computer science program in the state of Tennessee. On the more unique side of things, we offer a state-of-the-art bluegrass old time and country music program, along with an Appalachian studies program. So as you can tell, we have a lot of different options that you all can choose from. We are a transfer friendly school, which is why we nearly have a thousand students transfer to ETSU every academic year. Our admissions requirements are based off of a sliding scale. In order to be considered a transfer student, you will need to be transferring at least 12 attempted credit hours. It's safe to say that if you have a 2.0, then you will be admitted to the university. However, you can see that if you have under 60 attempted credit hours, then our GPA requirements will be below a 2.0. When you think about transferring, you can go through this easy application checklist. 
Your first step will be starting your online application by going to etsu.edu forward slash apply. When you are finished with your application, you need to make sure to submit the $25 application fee. And after you submit your application, we'll need to reach out to the records or registrar office of all prior higher education institutions that you have attended and send your official transcript to us. Once we receive your transcripts, we'll be able to provide you with your ETSU transcript evaluation. 92% of our students receive some sort of financial assistance, which can make your tuition and fees very affordable. If you live in Washington, Lee, Scott, Bristol, or Grayson County, you will be eligible for in-state tuition. If you live in any county outside of those, then you will be considered for out-of-state tuition. On the 18th, we should be seeing some drastic changes with our out-of-state tuition, and I will be sending you all a follow-up email with this update. As mentioned, ETSU is very affordable, so we offer several different scholarships for our transfer students. We have our Midway Honors Program, which is a two-year program for high-performing students, our Transfer Academic Performance Scholarship, which is a merit-based award for students who live in Grayson, Lee, Scott, Washington, and Bristol County. We have our George L. Carter Scholarship, which is a $15,000 award per academic year. That is for students who live within a 250 mile radius of ETSU. Our Sydney G. Gilbert Scholarship is a $12,000 award for students who live beyond the 250 mile radius. And our general scholarship that opens up every year on October 1st that provides multiple endowment and departmental scholarships for students to apply for. We also have the Academic Common Market, which will grant students who are interested in getting their BS in engineering technology concentrating in manufacturing, construction, or biomedical engineering, a BS in surveying and mapping, a BS in public health, or a BS in digital media, and this will grant you the in-state tuition rate. Outside of the classroom, we offer 250 different student organizations and 17 different uh, Division I sports. For their sporting events, students can get into all sporting games for free by just showing their ETSU identification card. Our student organizations range from club sports to academic clubs and honor societies to fraternity and sorority life, as well as service learning organizations and much more. If you are interested in visiting campus, we have two options for you. You can sign up for an in-person tour by going to ETSU dot edu forward slash visit. If you can't make it to campus, you can experience our campus virtually by going to etsu.university-tour.com. If you all have any other questions, feel free to email me at fowlerlg at etsu.edu or call or text me at 423-301-5483. You can also stay up to date by following us on social media at ETSU Admissions and if you want to find out more information, you can go to etsu.edu forward slash transfer. Thank you. Thank you. And next we'll be hearing from Bluefield College. All right, hello everyone. My name is Emily, Emily Coppola. I am the Transfer and International Counselor here at Bluefield College. Um, I'd like to show you all a little bit about why you should choose Bluefield and how Bluefield can really help you reach those new heights of success in your life. Um, going to the next slide. Okay, so first off, if you'd like to contact me, please feel free to reach out to me, email me, call me, um, even go ahead and apply if you'd like. Um, Overall, I just want to be able to ensure that you as students are reaching what you would like to do, um, that I get to know what interests you, I get to know you on a personal level, and that you really know that above all at Bluefield, you're not just another statistic, you're not just another test to grade, you are a person and we will really take care of you no matter what it is you're interested in. So welcome to the hashtag Rams fam. Um, off the top, let me say that we are a Christ-centered campus, community, and curriculum. 
Uh, now, what does that mean for a student? Do you have to be a Christian to attend Bluefield College? No, absolutely not. We are welcoming of all students, no matter what your background, your faith, anything. We're welcoming you with open arms. Um, all of our staff and faculty are Christians on campus, so you will experience Christ's love in one way or another, um, but you absolutely do not have to be a Christian to come to BC. So we are a smaller school. We have 1,200 students. This includes our dual enrollment students, our bachelor students, and our graduate students. Um, and for dual enrollment and graduate, they are online. So as you can see, we are a smaller school, but we have big school opportunities. We represent 32 states and 16 countries. There's a lot of diversity on campus and students who are from down the street or from around the globe make the same amount of impact um, no matter where they're from. We have 40 plus programs, which I'll get into a little bit later. Uh, we also have six pre-professional programs, which can help you launch into things like pre-law, pre-medical, um, pre-veterinarian, things along those lines. We also have a lot of sports options if that's what you're interested in. and just to highlight that we have our smaller school, uh, we have 14 to 1 student to faculty ratio. This will really ensure that you see um, your priority and you're not, like I said, just another seat filled. Um, you're going to know your professors on a first name basis. You're going to see them in the cafeteria, see them on campus, and you're really going to get to know each other and feel, like I said, uh, like a priority. So where is Bluefield located? Not everybody knows, and that's okay. So we're located right in the heart of Appalachia. You can see with the heart literally on the screen, um, we are not far away from some of those bigger cities. So if you want to go somewhere that's smaller, you wanna focus on your studies, really hone in on um, all of your grades and all those good things, you totally can. Um, but you're also not that far away from some of those bigger cities. So if you are coming from Richmond, um, Washington, things like that, then it's not that long of a haul for you to get here, but we would love for you to call Bluefield home. So our campus, bottom left-hand corner, is a beautiful shot of the majority of our campus. We are on 82 acres, and like I said, we are surrounded by beautiful mountains. Um, we have 25 buildings and facilities, seven athletic facilities. We have a post office on campus where you can get all of your mail, so you won't have to worry about miss missing any packages or anything like that. Um, and we're currently working on a project, the Herb Sims Center, where all of our students can go and work out, whether they're an athlete or whether they're not an athlete, they can enjoy that. So transferring to BC, what does that look like? Um, it's actually pretty simple. So if you have a 2.0 GPA, that's all we need. Um, I mean, we'll need some other things going forward, but as for GPA, a 2.0 is our minimum. Um, if you have 12 GPA credits, um, that's perfect. However, if you don't have those 12, that's perfect as well. I would love to help you get to BC. So let's say you're transferring in, you have maybe a 2.5, but you've only completed six credit hours. That's totally cool. The only other thing I'll need is your final official high school transcript, um, and I'll help you get to BC. Like I said, I love to help students get to BC. Um, checklist, just fill out an application, submit all those transcripts, and I will help you. Um, our tuition is the same for students, whether they are in-state or they are out-of-state. Um, so what you see on the screen is what you can expect, but once you get through the process, I will walk you through some more detailed numbers. Uh, we have a lot of student life on campus, whether ministries, uh, clubs and organizations, intramurals, Greek organizations, whatever you're interested in, we've got it. But if you see something um, or if you want something that you don't see, uh, we would love to help you get that started because we want you overall to feel like you're making an impact and that Bluefield really is your home. Um, so like I said, we have a lot of sports options, uh, whether you want to play, whether you just want to watch and support. We are a D1 school, and we do have that co-ed cheer team, so that's really cool. Uh, academic programs, I know this is a lot of info. I'm just going to let you all look at it. Um, I do want to highlight that we are starting an on-campus nursing program this upcoming spring, and that's going to be a big draw. Um, we also have graduates online, so those pre-professional programs like I was telling you about. Um, no matter what you're looking for, you can find it at BC. If you want to do a minor, a concentration, a track, whatever it is, you're more than welcome to do it, and I would love to help you do that. So if you want to connect with us, uh, please feel free to reach out to us on social media. Send me an email. Drop some questions in the Q&A chat below. Um, I would love to help you out, and I'd love to get to know you and see what you're interested in and see how I can help you. But thank you all for listening, and I look forward to answering your questions. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Regent University.
I think your sound is off. Sorry, everybody. Um, we'll start again. My name is Cindy Hilliard. I'm from Regent University. In the few minutes we have together, I'd like to give you a little information um, about Regent and help you so you can finish strong. So at Regent, um, we have a very generous transfer policy. We have over 4,400 undergraduate students enrolled and our students come from all 50 states, 90 different countries and 40 different denominations. You can choose to study online, live on campus or commute from the local area. You're considered a transfer student if you've taken 15 credit hours or more and we accept 90 credit hours towards a bachelor's degree, 48 credits towards an associate's degree. So here you'll see some of our awards and accolades. Um, for eight years in a row, we have been recognized by US News and World Report for having the number one best online bachelor's program in Virginia. We are one of only 22 universities nationally to be A-rated for our comprehensive liberal arts curriculum. And we awarded over 24 million in institutional scholarships and aid for the 2018-2019 school year. 90% of our full-time faculty have their PhD or terminal degree in their area of study and they are actually true practitioners in their fields. Our on-campus population is much more intimate with roughly 1,300 on-campus undergraduate students with a student faculty ratio of 17 to 1. And this will help you form lasting relationships, not only with your um, classmates, but also with your professors as well. And here you'll see a breakdown of our pricing for our on-campus students. Don't let these numbers alarm you. We are never want to see costs stand in the way of making some of letting someone attend our university. 85% of our undergraduate students do receive some form of aid, we have a net price calculator actually on our website where you can get a personalized breakdown of what you could expect your own personal cost of attendance to be. And actually our website is a very um, good resource for a lot of different, different information. Here you can see our online pricing. Um, if you were to take classes online, Regent is in the top 5% of the most affordable private Christian universities in the country. We are a liberal arts university with more than 135 different program areas of study. And you can see some of them here, everything from arts, communications, all the way to STEM. So we're sure that you're gonna find something that you would enjoy studying here. Region is located on 70 acres in the beautiful resort town of Virginia Beach. And there are many opportunities both on campus and in the local area to get involved in. We participate in nine division one varsity sports, or you may wish to participate in one of our many intramural or club teams as well. There's over 50 different student organizations on campus and many ways for you to build community. Traditional credit includes college level work completed at other regionally accredited institutions. So this is what most people think of with transfer credit. You sit in the class, you earn your grade, and you transfer the work in if you get a C or better. There's also non-traditional ways to earn credit at Regent. IB, AP, CLEP, and Dante's are ways to earn credit by examination. There's also military credits that can be transferred in, and we do offer credit for experiential learning by completing for portfolios on proficiency areas that you may have completed. So in this slide, you're gonna see you, the student in the middle here with all of our academic resources surrounding you. Um, we have lots of different services, everything from academic support to campus ministries. Um, they're gonna help you in your spiritual life. Um, so I don't need to go into each one in detail. You can see them here, but just rest assured that when you are a student at Regent, we are committed to your success and we are gonna be beside you every single step of the way. 
So there are many things to do all around our area. Like I said, we're in a very vibrant um, area to attend college, everything from downtown Norfolk. Um, we're close to Bush Gardens, Colonial Williamsburg, the Outer Banks. Um, so our students really love living on campus and being in the area. Finally, we invite you to apply. You can apply um, online um, by the websites here, or if you um, give us a call um, at the number listed here and speak with one of our admissions counselors, they would be willing to walk you through the application process and many times they can actually uh, waive your application fee for you. Um, so we look forward to talking to you. And if you have any questions, you can put them in the Q&A for us or reach out um, to our website and talk with one of our admissions counselors. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Full Sail University. I'm Jim Mikowski. I'm actually a part of our outreach department here at Full Sail. I've been at Full Sail for over 11 years. I've seen us grow tremendously, and we are a unique school down in Florida. We're a proud supporter of creativity. We have degrees in entertainment, media, arts, and technology, and we've been around since 1979. So I'm just going to kind of go through a couple things. If you guys have any questions, please, please, please use that QA section so I can help uh, answer any questions you guys may have. Uh, but just kind of want to dive into Full Sail. So, guys, we're located in Winter Park, Florida. So, uh, it's kind of like a suburb of Orlando. So, if you guys have ever been to Orlando, I hope so. It's pretty awesome. We got these things called, like, theme parks and lots of activity. Uh, I attempt to surf. I mostly float now. But if you go to the East Coast of Florida, we got some surfing going on. You go to the west coast of Florida, we got some of the most beautiful beaches in the entire United States. So everything's about 45 minutes away from our campus, which is pretty awesome. Um, also where we are in Winter Park, I mean, we actually have a very college -y area. There's literally like grocery stores right next door. We got apartment complexes, tons of activities, and we're a very unique university in the center of Orlando. So Kind of our areas of study, we broke into eight main halos or areas of study. So we have music and recording, we have video games, we have art and design, film and television, technology, media communications, business, and sports. So we have over 40 plus different degree programs here. Uh, however, these are kind of the more specialized areas that they exist. Um, so with that being said, I kind of want to tell a little bit why we're unique. Um, so what makes this very unique as a university is we do offer degree programs both online and on campus, but we're an accelerated degree program. So you actually come out with a bachelor's degree in less than two years. It's 20 months to complete a bachelor's degree on our campus and 29 months if you're looking to complete it online. Uh, so things that make us unique is obviously half the time. Um, also, when you're on our campus, um, our labs actually go 24 hours a day. Literally, you could have a lab from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m or a lab from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. And the reason for it is we do our best to replicate what you would be seeing in the industry. Perfect example, we have some studios here, right? Let's say you get a call from Queen Bee herself at nine o'clock at night. Uh, let's say you're out in the industry. Are you gonna say, no, sorry, Queen Bee, we only work from nine to five. 
It's not going to happen if you're running a studio. You got to be ready to go. So that's why we have our labs a little bit later at night to help you kind of have that environment. Another example with film. I don't know if you guys know this. Can you guys guess when a night shot actually takes place? I realize you can't respond, so I'll stop, but it happens at night, right? Um, also, the cool thing, being transfer students, we have the ability to start almost every single month. Uh, so literally, we have a start date every month. And with our accelerated degree program, there's never a moment uh, where you're just kind of searching to see if you can get that next degree program or that next course to get through the degree. Everything's kind of laid out for you, which allows you to kind of keep the start at any time pace. You focus on just one to two classes each month. Um, it also allows us to graduate almost every single month. So instead of flooding the industry with thousands of graduates in film, we have much smaller classes that can get into the industry. Next, you'll see career support. We have over 60 plus people that are in our career development department that work with you literally from day one till continuously after you graduate. Um, so that means 10 years down the road, let's say you're looking for a new gig, right? You're looking for something else. You can always refer back to Full Sail and we'll help point you in the right direction. Now, we can't guarantee a job. No university can, but we do our best to kind of have career workshops and modules throughout your entire time. I'll touch on that a little bit later. Um, also, the cool thing is that there's the ability to audit classes after you graduate. Let's say that you uh, want a kind of a refresher on Pro Tools, or maybe you want to get a little bit of new insight on the Unity or Unreal Engine that just came out. You can always come back to Full Sail, take a month-long course for free once you've already graduated. That's pretty awesome. And of course, we have project portfolios. Throughout your entire degree program, you kind of have checkpoints throughout your degree to build a demo reel, a portfolio that you can share with employers. Um, so this is something that's kind of very unique and why we're definitely a little bit different as a university. Um, another thing is that every student coming into Full Sail gets a laptop. And on the laptop, it comes with all the programs you need to complete your degree. And then when you're done, you get to keep it. So it's kind of like a mobile studio when you leave. Uh, so the Project Launchbox, pretty awesome. Um, now, this is additional to the tuition. Um, however, we label it as an institutional fee. So it can be um, tied into financial aid for those who qualify. Uh, but pretty amazing because as soon as you go, you have an industry standard computer. The two I put up here is just MacBook Pro and an MSI Razor computer. So pretty awesome. We have a great relationship with both of these companies. In fact, Apple's come out to start our orientation days a couple times when we give out Project Launchbox. Um, now, MSI, pretty amazing because they help support our creative community. Now, I've told us we're pretty fast paced, pretty unique, but it doesn't mean we don't have student life here at Full Sail. So I'm just going to list a couple of the clubs that we got here. Um, it looks like we got 3,300 in rising or climbing, sorry. Um, I think that's a really cool one. And I jumped the gun. Um, but 3,300 in climbing is actually our uh, music club that helps local artists grow within the local community. Uh, we have a collegiate DECA that competes. We've won nationally in multiple uh, competitions and internationally. Uh, we have an international student society with other 20% of our student body is actually international students, as well as our veteran student uh, union, uh, which is pretty awesome. We actually host a veterans Thanksgiving and they take over our back lot, which you guys may have seen in the video I first played um, to host a big Memorial Day event. Um, now the biggest thing Huge. I know everybody's been talking about sports. With us, it's a little bit different, a little difficult to have your traditional sports. But we're a school of nerds. So we actually have an esports team. We built this. This is the Fortress. It is now the largest collegiate esports arena on a um, collegiate campus in the entire United States. So we compete. We have sharing. awesome competitions here. Absolutely love it. Um, we do have a high school competition coming up. Um, but I wanted to highlight a little about Hall of Fame. A time for professional so reflection, I'll be quiet. growth, networking, making. Thank you for sharing. Uh, next, we'll be hearing from Mary Baldwin University. Hi everyone, my name is Carly Fagan and I am our transfer admissions counselor here at Mary Baldwin University. I want to start off with what's really important to us at MBU and that's our students. Our goal is to help you find your fit and here are two students who found theirs here and what they have to say about us. 
Joey says here at Mary Baldwin, there's no limit to what you can achieve, and that's why I love attending MBU. Since the day I stepped on campus, I've been making life-changing discoveries about myself and the way I work in and out of the classroom. And Michaela says, I dealt with a lot of insecurity in middle school and high school, and I was content to hide in the background of every class. Coming to MBU, where some of my classes only had about 12 people, meant that I was the given the chance to speak up and feel comfortable sharing my thoughts among a class filled with my peers. If you're looking for a school that will make you as an individual feel special, then MBU is the place for you. Mary Baldwin is a small university located in Stanton, Virginia. MBU offers over 50 majors and minors, as well as 11 graduate degree programs. We have roughly 1,000 undergraduate students, an average class size of 17 with an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio. With class sizes this small, our goal is to make sure you're a great fit for the university, all while finding your calling while you're here. By putting our students first, Mary Baldwin wants you to take what you learn in class and apply it to the real world. We have wonderful academic opportunities from the moment you step foot on campus. Students are able to complete internships starting their freshman year and students senior year, they all complete a senior capstone project. We have many leadership opportunities on campus available to everyone, over 50 clubs and organizations, as well as Division Three athletics. Mary Baldwin is located one block away from downtown Stanton, which was voted one of the top 20 best small towns in America. There's a lot for students to explore, whether that be seeing a play at the local Shakespeare Center and Blackfriars Playhouse, going to one of the many restaurants, checking out the Blue Ridge Parkway, attending Stanton Jams, or what I'm sure many of you have heard of, the Queen City Mischief and Magic Festival, or what I call the Harry Potter Festival. We're proud to offer a few very distinctive programs for women at MBU. Our College for Women is a unique program available exclusively to young women on Mary Baldwin's campus, even though we are a co-ed university. The program is a women-centered program that builds students' strengths and develops leadership skills. Another great opportunity we have at MBU is our VWELL program. VWELL stands for Virginia Women's Institute for Leaders and is the nation's only all-female core of cadets in the country. This program builds leadership skills as well as prepares students to enter into the military upon graduation as an officer if they choose to serve. Additionally, MBU offers a unique leadership program specifically designed for African American women. Ida B. Wells is a community for women of African descent who want to explore culture, identity, leadership, and civic engagement as a foundation for their active participation in the college community. Our applications are open and you're able to apply directly through our website or the Common App. It's free to apply to MBU and our minimum GPA requirement is a 2.0 for transfer students. When applying, we require a student to submit an unofficial transcript in order to make an admissions decision. We accept up to 84 credit hours when transferring in and have a partnership with the VCCS. If you have less than 24 credits, we will need your high school transcripts as well in order to make an admissions decision. I work directly with our registrar's office to determine how your credits will transfer in based on your intended area of study. All students who are accepted to receive merit-based scholarships based on their GPA, and this year our merit scholarships range from $16,000 to $22,000 every single year. 95% of students receive financial aid and scholarships at Mary Baldwin. Thank you guys so much for attending. And if you have any questions, please don't hes hesitate to contact us at admit at marybaldwin.edu or reach out to me directly at cmfagan at marybaldwin.edu. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick or question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being, for, um, being held. So be sure to sign up for additional ses sessions at strivescan.com slash Virginia. In about a week, you'll be able to find the this session's recording as well as other recordings at strivescan.com slash Virginia. Again, thank you all. Bye now. <laughs>